Hey YouTube fam, it's Sophie. It's been quite a while since I've posted any um, yoga video on YouTube, so I thought I'd bring you through a short little, um, hopefully restorative practice. Um, so if you want to use any props, pillows, blankets, yoga blocks, or put on some up comfy pants, a sweater, or socks, get yourself comfortable in any way that would feel useful for you. And we'll start this practice laying down on our backs. All right, so you can take your time to find your way onto your back body. And this will be a short, like, five to ten minute practice. All right, and as you get there, you can take a moment to wrap around a little bit, windshield wiper your knees, or right? any movement that you might like to find. Or you would like, whenever you feel ready, you could find a few different options of shapes here. So your feet could be out wide and your knees might knock in. You could explore a goal post of your arms, left to right. All right, if you'd rather find a different shape, your legs could be out long, your arms might be by your side, or any other variation of stillness or movement you'd like to find. All right, as you arrive here, know that there is nothing that you have to do and nowhere that you have to go for the duration of this practice together. Perhaps what you need is to lay down and find a moment of stillness. Or even perhaps pausing where you are for a few moments, a few breaths, having a soft gaze up towards the ceiling, or you might begin to close your eyes if that feels available to you. And when you feel ready to move, both knees could hug in. Maybe your hands hold onto your knees or your shins. Take a moment, perhaps, to rock left to right. And when you can find some stillness here, both hands could hold onto your right knee. Your left leg might go out long in front of you on the floor. And as your right knee hugs in, maybe as though your low back press on the floor, your right knee could hug in a little bit more. Take a moment. I know that you have the option to pause here in stillness, or if you'd like, your shoulders could lift off the floor. You might squeeze your forehead towards your right knee. Then you might lift and lower a few more times. So forehead could lift, and then you might lend down, or maybe you're pausing here. Then you might lift and lower a few more times, finding your own rhythm and pace here. All right, and maybe the next time you lift up, you pause for a moment. If you'd like to add some spice, your left foot could hover off the floor. That's up to you. And then you could lower everything back down. From here, your right leg could start to guide all the way over for the left to the left for a twist. And as you set up for the spinal twist in your body, right arm could open up to a T. Left leg could stay long, or you might bend your left knee and stack it underneath your right here. And then possibly pausing where you are for a few moments. And you can soften your gaze or close your eyes, whatever feels available. <sighs> All right, and both knees could lift back up. Your knees could hug in. You might rock side to side and same, same on the other side. From here, your hands could hold onto your left knee. Your right leg might go out long in front of you. Adjust in any way that you might need to. All right, and as you pull your left knee in, you might feel your low back pressing the floor. You can notice how sensation of your left hip feels different than your right. All of our bodies are different. And you could pause here in this moment of stillness. Or if you'd like, you have the option to lift up and squeeze your forehead towards your left knee. And then you could lower. All right, and you might explore lowering and lifting a few times here. And maybe do that one or two more times or skip this movement altogether. Okay, and the next time you lower from here, you could guide your left knee all the way over to the right. All right, and as you guide your left knee over, your right hand could press your left knee down. Maybe taking a moment to let your shoulders soften away. start to roll yourself back down. The right knee can hug in to meet your left. Maybe a moment to rock side to side. And I didn't quite set up a great camera angle here, but a few options to make your way up to a tabletop shape. You could rock forward and back a few times, or if you'd like, you could roll onto one side and use one or two hands to brush yourself up. And 
as you make your way onto your palms and your knees, you're not going to be here for too long. Right away when you get there, you could start to tuck your toes and lift your hips up towards the sky for a downward facing dog. So maybe for you today in this practice, tabletop shape is exactly where you need to be and that is where you find a moment to pause. Or if you'd like, you could tuck your toes and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Right, whatever variation you're finding, you might pedal pedal out your legs or sway your hips side to side or any movement that you'd like to find here. Right, but essentially, wherever you are, you could step your feet or your knees out a little bit wider and maybe walk your hands back towards your feet for a forward fold. We're going to explore one of my favorite movement patterns I've been teaching recently. You can heel toe your feet out a little bit wider. And then here, bend your knees as much as you need so you can let your hands hold on to the tops of your feet so the tips of your fingers might go underneath your toes. And as you're right here, your elbows are almost like inside your legs here. And then maybe you start to sink your hips down, head and heart could lift forward, almost like a cow pose and pulling your collarbones up. And then your hips could lift straight-ish legs, forward fold. And that's kind of like a cat pose. And you might start to move in and out of this a few times. You could sink your hips, heart lifts. And then maybe you lift your hips back up. And you might try this one or two more times. Kind of rounding and arcing through your spine and exploring a little bit of hip mobility here. All right, and the next time that your hips lift up, you could pause for a moment in a forward fold. All right, you've got a few different options. You could let your hands fall down to the ground. You might hold on to opposite elbows for a rag doll. If you'd like a shoulder stretch here, you could interlace your fingers behind your back and let your arms fall forward. Okay, your head could rock from side to side. You might bend from one knee to another here. Whew. Okay, and then your hands could release down towards the floor. You could bend your knees, plant your hands, walk yourself back out to a tabletop shape. Knees could tap down. Maybe from here you want to tuck your toes, sink your heads back towards your heels, so you can swing your legs to your right or your left side. All right, and then you can make your way back all the way on down. Knees could hug in a little bit, to rock side to side. All right, left foot could step down, right ankle might cross over your left leg for a figure four here. Right hand could press your right knee open. Or maybe your hands hold on to the back of your left leg and you find the variation for you. Right, you might rock left to right or lift your left foot up towards the ceiling. Right, as you find the variation that feels valuable for your body on this side, perhaps pausing here for a moment. You could use this as an opportunity to connect to how you might be breathing right now if you'd like. And switching sides in your time, left foot could step next to your right. I mean, right foot next to your left. Maybe your hands press into the ground in between. And from here, your hips could lift up towards the ceiling for a moment in a bridge pose. And then you could land back down. One more like that if you'd like. Press down to lift up. And then as your hips lower down, your left ankle could cross over your right leg. Figure four, take your time. Right foot has the option to lift up. You might hold on to the back of your right leg. Opportunity to rock side to side if you'd like here. And you might notice that this side of your body needs a completely different variation or the sensation feels a little bit spicier or maybe vice versa. Possibly pausing where you are for one. And if you'd like for two. And perhaps for three. And in your time, right foot could lower if it's lifted, left foot next to your right. Maybe your hands land by your side and you take a moment to windshield wipe for your legs. And from here, whenever you feel ready, you can start to find your variation of a final resting form. All right, and this could look like legs out long, arms by your side. Maybe you explore a butterfly shape with your legs, feet together to touch, knees out wide. All right, as you arrive here in these next few moments, know that this space is an opportunity for you to possibly find some stillness. 
and I'll close this YouTube practice, but you can stay here for as long as you'd like. But I know that in these next few moments, there is nothing else you have to do and nowhere else you have to go. Right, but can you possibly use this space as rest and stillness for you to be as you are in this moment, however you might be arriving? Thank you all for practicing with me again.